Hello uh, and welcome to another video uh, about the basics for Fantasy Grounds Unity. Uh, in this one we're going to uh, shoot through uh, 10 quick uh, tips and tricks uh, for uh, using that you can use uh, in your games. Uh, so let's get started. First we're going to look at the quick bar down here, uh, down at the bottom. Uh, you can see that you've got uh, 12 uh, slots in the quick bar which relate to the uh, F keys. Um, uh, if you hold down the uh, shift key, uh, you'll get uh, 12 more. If you hold down shift and control, 12 more, shift, alt and control, 12 more, any combination of shift, alt and uh, control, uh, and you'll get lots of, you've got 96 or something like that in total. You can pin anything uh, to the uh, quick bar here. You can uh, if you wanted to you can pin uh, some of these uh, buttons here uh, you can pin uh, some of the uh, toolbar buttons you can pin things like if for example you have show gm roles if you use this frequently you can drag the status of that onto there you can then uh, switch it and then drag it to another uh, section and then you can then quickly change the uh, DM rolls on and off just by clicking uh, on these uh, uh, cells here. Players can do the same thing and uh, maybe uh, they also uh, want to uh, maybe sort of uh, get their actions uh, onto the quick bar as well so they can drag their uh, attack here and uh, their damage and just put them onto the quick bar and then they can roll uh, from here uh, be aware if you're using a, a ranged weapon when you click from here it's not going to tick off the number of uh, uses that you have used it, that'll only happen if you do it from there you can also do it with a chat command. So, for example, if you uh, frequently uh, roll uh, a 1d6 for whatever reason, you can type in the roll 1d6 here. Before you press return, you can drag that onto one of your quick bar slots. And now when you uh, click on that, you'll roll the appropriate dice. If we go back to the uh, Dungeon Master's screen now, um, and we may come up with the... Uh, a combat tracker and maybe a map and the dungeon master wants to uh, get the players uh, onto the combat tracker quickly uh, onto the map quickly they can do this by dragging the skull icon here and the players will uh, uh, or the tokens will appear on the map this is the same as we saw with the uh, party sheet in an earlier video if we go to the order tab we've got this green icon here we can uh, pull that and dra drop it onto the map if we've got some uh, enemies uh, on the on the combat tracker, we can add one, we can uh, add a few more. And if we use the red skull icon, then we can uh, drag those uh, onto the map in the same way. And the one in the middle is neutral. So if we've got any uh, neutral, or neutral uh, um, enemies uh, on the board or NPCs, then we can uh, drag those uh, using the neutral uh, skull icon. Um, switching uh, over to the uh, player uh, view, um, maybe Smasher here wants to attack the uh, bear and uh, does some uh, damage uh, and suddenly realizes that he should only have, uh, he shouldn't have done that damage because he made a mistake. He, he can right click uh, over the uh, dice roll here and make that negative and then drag the damage back over onto the bear to uh, remove the damage. Maybe it should all only have been half damage. We can right click again, uh, go to half. That changes the damage to half. And then we can drag that and put it into the uh, wounds category of the bear. Um, if a uh, smasher uh, will uh, make it uh, smasher's turn. Uh, oh no, well, easier just to make it Vary's turn. Uh, if we get Vary's uh, character sheet up. Um, if uh, Vary is now want to make attack, she's going to uh, target Black Bear 1 here. If she wants to make this an opportunity attack or to indicate that it's an opportunity attack, uh, she can hold down uh, the shift key uh, whilst making the attack. And in chat, it will show that the attack is an opportunity attack. Uh, if she wants to force critical damage, uh, then whilst uh, holding down the shift key again, if she double clicks on her damage, uh, then it'll automatically make that a, a critical damage. Uh, the dungeon master has exactly the same uh, options as well. 
If a player wanted to uh, communicate secretly with the Dungeon Master, they can right click over the um, dice tower here and uh, select uh, Whisper and then just uh, type in their message and the Dungeon Master will see uh, the message there. Dungeon Master can reply by forward slash R and type in whatever they want and that will go to the person that they just uh, communicated with. Uh, on the Dungeon Master screen, the Dungeon Master can right click over any of the player portraits here and go to Whisper and then they can uh, type in a message and that will be seen uh, only by that uh, player. Uh, now obviously because I've got all three players on my uh, uh, campaign here then uh, everybody's seeing it but normally each player uh, or each character would be controlled by a different player. The Dungeon Master can give out uh, XP to an individual. Um, for example, maybe a Dungeon Master wants to give out some XP to somebody who uh, lockpicked or something like that. We can simply add an item here, type in the amount of XP that you want to uh, give and then drag from this uh, uh, there and just drop that into the XP box of the individual player. Um, you can do this from uh, almost uh, anywhere that there is a text box. Uh, you can drag and drop the amount into that text box and you can do this for other things as well. The Dungeon Master can also share items with the uh, individual players. Uh, let's uh, get some, uh, let's get an image up here. Uh, perhaps uh, Fingers has gone round a corner and uh, uh, sees uh, something uh, and the uh, Dungeon Master wants to uh, show them what it is that they're seeing. They can uh, use the uh, link icon here to drag that and then just drop it on the uh, player's portrait. It'll pop up on the DM screen and it'll also pop up on the player screen. Now again, I've got all three players here, but normally uh, only the player who's controlling that character is going to see uh, this uh, particular image. We can do the same with just about uh, anything. Um, if we go to uh, items, uh, for example, we've got, already that, got that open. Uh, if we wanted to share an abacus uh, with fingers, then we can uh, just uh, drag and drop it and it'll open up on his uh, screen, uh, giving him the details. If we want to uh, add this directly into fingers uh, inventory, then if we hold down the Alt key uh, whilst dragging and dropping, then it's going to uh, add it directly into a uh, Fingers uh, inventory. So we get Fingers up here and go to his inventory. We'll see that he now has an abacus in the inventory. Um, both the uh, players uh, and the DM can uh, move the uh, portraits and the uh, dice if they want to. If you uh, come up here, uh, you'll see a little uh, icon, a, a locked icon. If we unlock that, um, we can now uh, move the uh, portraits around and uh, we can uh, place them wherever we want. We can do the same in version 4.3, depending on when you're watching this video, with the dice box. We've got uh, a lock icon here. If we unlock that, we can then move the dice to wherever we want, and we can then lock them into position. Uh, and we can then reset the position using this little tool here to put everything back to where it started. If um, a, a character is subject to some kind of spell, perhaps, um, and uh, maybe uh, gets uh, a little bit uh, bigger, then the uh, Dungeon Master can hold down the Control key and then using the middle mouse button, they can make the uh, portrait or the, the token for the character uh, bigger. Uh, this can also be done uh, via the uh, combat tracker. Uh, again, we just mouse over the icon on the combat tracker, hold down control, and uh, you can make the character or the token uh, bigger or smaller. Uh, to get everything back to uh, where it was, uh, then hold down control and uh, press the middle mouse button to put the token back to where it was. We said in an earlier video that notes uh, were for um, the players mainly, but uh, sometimes the DM might just make notes and maybe the DM wants to keep these notes um, and maybe use them in another campaign. But unfortunately, notes can't be exported from your campaign into a module. So what you'd want to do is to make them into story entries and you can do this simply by opening up the story uh, here and then just uh, drag and drop the notes into the story and it'll make a copy of your story entries and they will become stories and therefore they will become 
exportable. So this is a way to export notes in a way. Uh, okay, um, that's it. Uh, uh, 10 tips and tricks uh, for using uh, fantasy grounds. I hope you found this useful and the series as well. And if everybody, anybody has watched all of the videos all the way through, then thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Cheers for now.